Hey guys, it's Battle Gaming, and I've done a video on Apple Arcade games about a month ago, and you guys quite liked it, so I thought to do another one just for fun. Some of these games were ones I've played before and didn't quite make the cut, and the others are games that I found recently, and I thought you guys should check them out. As always, I'll leave the link to all the games that I've found in the description below so that you guys can check them out for yourselves. So, let's get into it. First up we have Enchanted World by Noodle Cake, a quick puzzle game that tasks you getting from A to B by altering the environment around you. There's not much of a story, but from what I can tell, you play as a witch in this enchanted world and you have to travel across the world with the power of the arms of a magic tree branch. This tree branch controls the environment and provides the main mechanic for the game which allows you to shuffle tiles. These tiles can be walkways, waterways, bridges and plenty of other obstacles which you have to conjure together in a formation to create the perfect path for you to cross. It sounds pretty tough to come up with all of that in your head, especially when the puzzles get more advanced and more difficult, but fortunately the game gives you a bit of help. You don't have to figure it out all at once, you can cross over onto completed paths and focus only on the parts you need to get across, which makes the whole premise a lot simpler and a lot more fun. That's not to say that this is in any way easy. They'll throw in other mechanics such as completing rivers to power a bridge or rearranging a mechanism so that it can open a door on top of getting to the other side which makes it very challenging as you go through the game. There's a good amount of progression to the levels as they slowly get harder such that you don't feel overwhelmed but you still feel accomplished once you get past the level. That on top of the design which uses low poly graphics but a cute and vibrant range of colours makes this game very inviting to the casual gamer or for those just looking for some time to kill. If you're looking for a quick puzzle game that is challenging and looks absolutely gorgeous then I highly recommend giving the Enchanted World a try. Next we have Legend of the Skyfish 2 by Crescent Moon Games, a puzzle adventure game that is similar in vein to Legend of Zelda and Oceanhorn 2 that I looked at before but in a 2D landscape. Now I haven't played the first one but from what I could gather Skyfish is the antagonist who has been defeated and many years have passed since his demise. People lived in Harmony and mercenaries, Donna Sentinels and members of the Red Hook clan all did their part to protect the order. However, corrupt creatures are attacking the sea and in order to prevent this, the last of the Red Hook clan, the Master and the Apprentice, are hired for help, which is where the game begins. The main idea of the game is that you go around completing a series of quests that pile up in order to gain rewards and further the story. You play as the Apprentice and you can dodge roll, search for gems and loot, and attack with your fishing rod slash sword. This fishing rod is the core of the game as you'll use it pretty much everywhere. Other than your main method of attacking enemies, you'll need it to get across to different areas via these hooks and also bring enemies towards you to take them down. You can also stun them once they've been dragged which can give you a window to attack. The fishing rod can be upgraded as you go through the story along with armour and accessories via quests and by collecting craftable items. I do like the general setup of the game. It's at a good pace and because of the way the controls work and the enemies spawn, I'm almost always on the move and have to keep on my toes. The enemies aren't necessarily difficult, however it can be challenging when having to deal with multiple enemies, dodge spikes and vines whilst keeping your very low health in check. The colours and artwork are very vibrant and seem very mobile gamey using plain bright colours whilst having that cartoony feel to it that you see in quite a lot of mobile games but with a lot of detail put in towards the character design. I did have a complaint about the controls as I felt I moved way too quickly for how much input I was giving which can easily make you lose control and makes it harder to dodge. The quests do feel kind of similar, it could do with more puzzles here and there to make it more challenging and the hand holding with telling me where to use the items is not needed in my opinion. Barring all of that, it's a very solid, well made game with an interesting but not overbearing story and serves as a very good adventure game that can fit in your pocket. And finally we have The Mosaic by Raw Fury. A game that tasks you with playing the boring, everyday life of a man in a shirt and a tie with a dead end, meaningless job. There's not much to explain about this game other than you have to go through the life of a man who has no redeeming qualities and just lives this repetitive life cycle. You wake up, you get dressed, you go to work, you go back home. That's it. There are some events that will happen on different days and you can make choices that will affect how your day turns out. But all in all, this game is a reflection of what a lot of people are doing living their lives. There are so many metaphors and surreal moments involved that are seriously depressing and thought provoking. You have moments where you see the light and something positive is there to brighten up your day, but it's quickly met with this great undertone as you revert back to daily life. There's even a game within the game called Blip Blop, which is a meme of microtransactions in mobile games and honestly had me playing it for at least 45 minutes. To say the least, this is not an upbeat game not in the slightest. 
but it's a game that sends a message more so than the first two on this list. The sound design, the camera angles, the riddling amount of subliminal messages are all trying to tell us how life can be cruel and how easily we can fall into these dark pits. The Mosaic is a very dark and a very powerful game, which may not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you want to have a different perspective when playing games, then I highly recommend it. Well, that's it from me. If you enjoyed, if you leave a like, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment down below about what you guys thought about the games on the Apple Arcade. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.